My friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video, we're going to take a look at lighting a wine bottle. Now, this is a really simple lighting setup that you can do to just create a really simple render for your wine bottle renders. And so this is a really common one and it's a good one for like e-commerce shots. But this one is a little bit more set up and it has a backdrop and it looks really nice and it's simple to set up. If you're interested in product visualization, our Blender course is the perfect place to start. Learn how to create impressive product CGI that looks professional and realistic. With lifetime access to updates and new courses, you'll have endless opportunities to grow and refine your skills. Enroll now and take the first step towards becoming a pro in product visualization. All right, let's jump in. So the easiest way to set up a lighting is just to use uh, like key lights and this is a term from photography so key light is usually your main light that fills the scene and so in blender we can create a key light using just an area light so what I'll do is just go shift a and I'll go to my mesh and then I can jump down here and I can come down to the light and go area light and so an area light is just like this flat light here so I can uh, like move this up above and I just want to like scale this out so that it's a strip light. And the reason we do this is because of the shape of the bottle. And so when we're lighting products, we usually look at the shape. And so this is a, a tall, thin shape. And so we try and replicate that in our lighting because it works really nicely with this shape. And so what you'll see is when I rotate this around, what I can do is come up here to this view here and go to the 3D cursor. And so basically this is just changing the pivot point of our transformations. And so now when I rotate or I grab rotate and go 90 and we'll do that on the Y axis by pressing Y, hit enter. And now I can just move this, um, move this in the direction. So I'll just change this back to global. And so that's just our axes. So I'll just change that back to global so that when I press G and Z, I can move this straight up. And so you can see there that we've already lit the side of our bottle and you can use this light and move it back and forth if you would like. So move it back and forth. Just move it forward a little bit like so and now you can jump into the lights settings here and we can punch this up so i'll go something like 50 that helps light it up a little bit now you could just stop here and that would be a perfectly fine scene to render out and it looks fairly decent um, obviously you'd make some few adjustments make sure the color of everything is okay but this would be a fairly decent scene to render out. You might change the brightness of this light, but to add a little bit more, we're going to duplicate this light. So what I'll do is go Shift D, duplicate it, and I'll just right click to drop it back in place. I rotate on the Z axis, and rotate all the way around, and we can go 180 on this one. Now I don't actually want it 180, but what I'm going to do is just scale this on the Y axis so that it's a bit bigger. And this is going to be our key light. So this will be our fill and it's just filling in the side. And a fill is usually not as bright as a key. And then a key light is a nice big bright light. So this, in this case, we're gonna go key light of uh, 250. So this, you can see here that if I rotate this into place, bringing it around a bit it's a nice big light and it's filling up our scene with light here and so it's doing majority of the lighting on the bottle and so then you can call this one key light in your outline up here and we call this one the other one fill light so this is really quite a simple render to do um, once you've got your bottle set up and it's a quick and easy lighting and this is a common request I get when I do jobs. Um, I pretty much do this all the time. Like most uh, wine companies and wine labels and graphic designers, 
they just want a simple shot to put on their Instagram or whatever and they'll put it on their website and things like that and so they'll do like a banner or something like that where it says do this I'll just select all this and we'll go uh, top view here and I'll just shift D to duplicate it and you can see here that I can actually duplicate this very easily um, and the lighting will just sort of follow its way around so if I just go here like so get the spacing right and so you can see there how quickly it is to just pop it, populate our scene and then obviously get a lighting or our client would then use this on their website they could use it on a banner they could use this in e-commerce images or things like that or they can use it on their social media and so it's a very common request that I get obviously you play around with this a little bit more because you're getting reflections from the like the, the foil up here um, you could adjust the roughness things like that to make it a different effect but that's up to you to play around with but overall it's pretty easy lighting setup it works with multiple images in here multiple objects and you can set it up on a lot of different objects not just wine bottles all right so i hope you enjoyed this video what i'm going to do is i'll drop the project file down below for you to download it and you can play around with this setup yourselves all right i hope to see you in the next one